for Dear Drew, one of my very favorite segments. I have to tell you, there are things that sometimes I can't believe we're getting away with on the show. I was like, we let's do Dear Drew and get into snail mail, and here we are. And more incredibly, Ember was a little pessimistic, wondering if people would send mail in. And I'm just gonna say, look at one particular woman we're gonna get into. So, I mean, snail mail is alive and well, and I know it's huge this week, and uh, we're gonna start, we celebrate a zip code every week, and we're gonna start today with the zip code of the day. That's right, it's 19130 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, home of our local affiliate, CBS3 Philadelphia. Some fun facts about Philly, hmm, first, the first hospital in the U.S. was founded in 1751 by Dr. Thomas Bond and Benjamin Franklin. Philadelphia is also one of the most thriving art scenes in the country. Hello, Barnes. Most impressionistic paintings outside of Paris, including Van Gogh's sunflowers. Rocky made steps to Philadelphia Art Museum very famous. And uh, last fun fact, it's a personal one. My family is actually from there. Yeah, hundreds of years, they were doing theaters. There was the Drews and the Barrymores. They married into each other, hence Drew Barrymore. And they actually permanently reside there. Here's some photos of me at their grave site that I went to with my friend Robin, who lives right outside of Philly. And um, fun fact, I broke into the cemetery. It was closed, I hopped the wall, and Robin's like so into rules, and she was not thrilled, but she went with it anyway. So, um, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, I would love to hear from you. When you get over all of your busy business, please send me some mail. Okay, first let's get to our first letter. Bev Chapman, all right. Bev, I love you. From Vista, California, you have sent us, like, I, Bev, I mean, oh my God. You know what, let's just go for it. Look, Bev, look at you, look at you. Hundreds of letters the past few months and mostly with a cute joke, which is adorable because I send my daughter's jokes on postcards. So let's read a couple. First joke, what's the coolest vegetable? A radish. I know. The second joke, it's hot. I bought a loaf of bread, and by the time I got home, it was toast. Yeah. Okay, Bev, I just, I'm obsessed with you. Please keep them coming. We'll keep it reading. Okay, Eva from Morgantown, West Virginia writes, oh dear, Eva, is this, is this Eva's letter right here? Oh no, where did Eva's letter go? All right, we're live. This is fun. We have fun. I think this is Eva's letter. It is? Oh, dear Drew, I work at a local university in the procurement department, but my love and my passion is art, and I have included a small painting I did a few weeks back. I hope you like it. Oh, Eva, you sent me a little painting. This is exactly the whole point of dear Drew. Okay, we have time for one more letter. From Mary in Chesterton, uh, Indiana. Phew. By the way, fun fact about, it's like the first and second initials or the first and last, it can really throw you. Okay, my question is for you, what kind of mattress do famous people sleep on? We spent $2,000 on a mattress that we gave away less than a year later. I didn't even have the conscience to send, to take any money for such terrible quality. We replaced it with an organic latex mattress. Something about latex and mattress sounds real odd. They go together, but not, you know, in that way. And added to the plush topper, and then a cotton topper, yet I still feel like I'm sleeping on a forest floor. Okay, Mary, here's the deal. If you're gonna go topper, Tempur-Pedic for sure, because I have to always travel for work and I've had to live in random cities and hotels for months at a time and I never travel without my Tempur-Pedic topper. It makes every mattress amazing, but, my personal preference is one from the Sealy brand, and that's what I have at home. So I'm gonna send you both, and you're gonna get to test drive and see which one you like better, okay? Now, if anyone out there needs any advice, help, maybe wants to see me try something, mail me your questions, requests, photos, jokes. I No one can top Bev at this point, but please try. Funny stories, family memories, photos. I can't wait to read your letters on the show. So Bev and Eva and Mary, thank you for your letters. And here are my postcards to you, stamped and everything. God, if there isn't something I love more than stamps, I'd love you to find it. I know, puppies. Thank you, truly yours.
Love, Drew. 